Color and the images that you're using for this project are important. I think typography is probably the most important thing to research and to choose when planning a project. Um, it can be very difficult to read a design if you choose a typeface that is illegible or too small or maybe it's too big and distracts from the design. So we need to be very considerate about the typefaces that we choose. You are gonna be picking three different typefaces for three different reasons. I want you to focus on finding one for a heading, a subheading, and body text. Heading being the largest, sub meaning the middle size, and then body is the smallest. And you are gonna be using them for the heading for titles, the subheading could be used for an artist, um, artist name, or maybe the tagline on the back of your book. And then the body text is the main part that the viewer or the uh, person would be reading. Um, so it's very important that that's legible and small enough. So in order to start searching for your typefaces, what you're going to be doing is going to your cloud. And when you're in your library, so let's say you're in your library, you're gonna go up to the F in the right corner and click on it and browse. And before we do that, let's take a look at Canva because Canva actually organizes their text into the same three categories. So you can see their headings are larger, the subheading is medium, and then the body of text is the smallest. So we want to think about that while we're searching. If I'm looking at this right now, and I happen to just, I just popped up my text um, options in Adobe, I can already tell just by looking at some of these, which ones would be better for a heading and which one would be better for a sub or for the body. Um, for example, this would make a good heading because it's a little bit thicker and bolder. This might work as a good subheading because it's simpler, but it's also still bold enough. And then, of course, our body pair, uh, body text is smaller, so this is this is easy to read even at this size. When you find these fonts and you find them by searching through the menus, um, you can even go to all fonts or recommendations. You're going to have the option to click on it. So let's go ahead and click on our heading type typeface that I found. And once I click on that, I'm going to first want to make sure that I add it to my favorites. And I also want the option to activate it. This font has 98 versions of the font. So I could very easily make sure I want this one. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure to select that one. Click OK. And now it's activated. When it, when it is activated, what it means is that you are allowed to open that in Photoshop or Illustrator or any other Adobe program that uses a text tool. So it will be on your list of your fonts. So think of it almost like downloading to your library. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of this. So I'm doing Command Shift 4 ahead with my mouse, drag a copy or drag it across, and then click done. That's going to go to my desktop, which is going to allow me to drop it into my library. I'm going to go back and I would do the same thing for my subheading as well as my body text. And if I do it correctly, I should have all three of these screenshotted on my desktop. So when I go back to my library, You're going to drag in the font. I already have one here. Actually, this is something I would use for my um, subheading. I'm going to minimize this really quick. Minimize Photoshop. Don't mind my messy desktop. I'm going to find the font that I just found, and then I'm going to drop it in. OK. So just to keep in mind, this is going to be, this would be for my he, uh, heading. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it and I'm going to type in the word heading. Okay, it doesn't show, but I know when I open it, it's going to say heading. 
This could be used for my subheading, so I would rename and do subheading. And then I need to find an additional one for the body. I didn't finish that step because I was walking you through it, but I do have a sample of a library that has been finished. So you can see my three different uh, typefaces here. Okay, And then you are officially done adding your type to your Creative Cloud.